everyone! So I have a collective ColourPop haul for you guys today and I figured I might as well do a try on as well. My hair is still wet but I'll take you along what I purchased because I think it'll be enough to do like a full face of makeup. So for my first box right here, this is collective because I've just kind of been setting them aside just to do a haul and like get ready with them. But for this for this particular order, I ordered the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic um, Tinted Moisturizer because I've heard a lot of good things about it. So I'm kind of on a tinted moisturizer kick, so I picked that one up. And I do love the Pretty Fresh con um, Foundation and Concealer, so I wanted to add that to my collection. And this one is the Super Shock Cheek. This one is Over Dramatic. And it's a really nice, like, terracotta color. So I figured I could use that as a blush today. And then the last two things in here, I really, really love the this collection. I'm not sure what this collection is called, but the one with the really pretty flowers. But this one's Baroque. This is the last one that I needed to add to my collection since I already did purchase Ornate and then the last one which is going to be on my second box. So I'm going to show you the other ones that I have too. So Baroque is just the gray ones. It's super pretty. What really intrigued me with this collection is that I really really like the packaging. I kept the packaging for these because I'm obsessed with them. I love anything kind of like age and kind of vintage looking. That's why I needed to pick this up to purchase. So. I'm just going to get started and then apply the Pretty Fresh Tinted Moisturizer so you can see how that is on my skin. To prep my face, I'm just going to spray my Smashbox Primer Water. This is just one of those steps that I have to do because I just really, really like it. And then I'm going to put on my It Cosmetics Primer. This is the oil-free primer. For my moisturizer today, I'm wearing my Ola Enriksen, no, not Murad. It's the oil-free SPF since I ran out of my La Roche-Posay one. So it's a little bit drying, so that's why I'm putting this one on. So I picked this up in the shade 12W, so this is going to be a first impression because I'm not really sure. Okay, this looks like it might be a little too light, but I'll just mix it in to see how the coverage is. I'm just going to use my Real Techniques buffing brush. Okay, so this is definitely very lightweight. So I'm just, I just zoom you in for a little bit, but definitely really lightweight. So coverage wise, it's barely there. So I'm not sure if I'm going to continue with this. I might layer just a clip up pretty fresh foundation just so I can complete my look, but, or maybe I'll just keep it like this for the rest of the video since this is just a haul and try on video, but this is what it looks like. So I have two shades of the Pretty Fresh Concealer. One is for my skin tone, so I'm just gonna just dot it on the areas where I need more coverage because really it didn't really do anything. And then my ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer for my under eye. This one is in the shade 90W. And then the shade that I have for my other Pretty Fresh Concealer is 115W. If I bought this product at Ulta, I definitely would return it because it's definitely not something... This is definitely not for someone like me who needs a lot of coverage. I was hoping that it would be lightweight but like give such... give a decent coverage, you know, but no. It's definitely just a tinted moisturizer with the amount of coverage I'm getting from this and product isn't mixing well with my moisturizer because I did a mattifying moisturizer. 
and it's kind of really patchy on my skin so I'm not really liking this product. I actually hate the way my skin looks right now but I'm just gonna continue on and do this haul and try on for you guys. I don't have a new bronzer in this little haul so I'm just gonna use the one I have. This is from Soul Body which is by Colourpop which I really really like so I'm just gonna apply that. I have this one in the shade Dark. It's a really nice shade. Normally I would apply this with a more dense brush, but I have this brush right in front of me, so I'm just going to use this one. I love this Soul Body Bronzer. I have it in the shade Dark and Deep. Dark's definitely my favorite shade because it's not too red. Deep was actually too red for me. I, I bought Dark first, but I figured I should try Deep to see, you know, if it would give me more definition, but it's a little too red for me so dark's definitely the shade for me okay so just continuing on with this haul i have a separate color pop box in here that just has the other things i purchased that i haven't really talked about so i have another blush in here this one is from their i think this is from their poppy collection this one is called out of sight and it's super pretty but i can't open the component total but this is the shade it's called out of sight it's very pretty I'm going to show you a swatch, and that's the swatch in that one. Very nice and peachy color. So I have these two blushes, so I'm thinking I want to try this one right here because I'm feeling really dry, so I wanted to see how that would look like. I'm just going to use a stippling brush for this. So I don't have a new highlighter for this haul, but I'm just going to go ahead and show you the rest of the stuff that I've just been hoarding from ColourPop that I haven't used. This one is actually a present that I got from Christmas, and I haven't even used it, but this is the Mandalorian The Child, and it has really pretty mint colors. Which is if you haven't seen that one. Since the foundation I'm wearing is really really light, so I'm gonna go for a really no makeup make makeup look for the day. So I have two of the I think this is like the flower affair. I'm not really sure the name of the collect. They come out with so many collections. I'm just I have no idea what they're named after now. But these are their jelly much shadows. Maybe I'll try one of these on today. They're very interesting. I feel like they can be really messy. Like, look. So this one is She Grown, which is like a nice little peachy gold, which is really pretty. And the other one I picked up is called Saguaro, which is more of like an orange gold. But look, at it, it's so pretty. Let me swatch them real quick and I'll show you. Okay, these are my only Jelly Match shadows that I own from ColourPop, but these are the swatches. So pretty, right? So She Grown is the one on the top, and then Saguaro is the one that's more like a peachy orange gold. Really, really pretty. And for this haul, I just have a few palettes that I picked up. I believe I purchased this when this was on sale for half off. This is their Garden Variety Eyeshadow Palette, and it's very pretty, but maybe I'll do another spring look, but... I'm hoping for like a no makeup makeup look for the day, but this is what the shades look like. And I have another two palettes here that I picked up that I haven't used. But this one is the Menage a Moi. I believe you can still get these at Ulta and I think they're like on sale for $10. So this is so pretty. And again, I really like kind of like the Baroque style packaging. I just really... I just really like these types of prints. Picked up the gold one, which is called Boudoir Noir, which is the more gold. I might use Boudoir Noir today, but I'll show you the rest that's in my box right here. I also picked up Lilac You A Lot. I picked this up when it was like on super clearance. I believe I got it for like $3 or something, but um, one of the shades broke, like the middle one, but here's what she looks like. So this is the other one I picked up. So I have Grandeur, Ornate, and Baroque now. Nude palette that's super pretty. I just don't like the pressed glitters. I don't really particularly care for them. I actually hate them. So I might try to alter all my ColourPop palettes and remove all the pressed glitters because I just I hate them. They're unnecessary. I just don't like using them. So... 
And then I have the last two palettes in here. This one is the Little Ray of Sunshine. I honestly don't even know what I had in this box because I've just kept it to do like a haul video and I've never gone around to it. So now I'm just getting into it. So this one is so pretty. This one is kind of like reminiscent of Urban Decay's Naked Honey. Very pretty and I believe I purchased this one. It was like on sale for $7 which is not bad. I believe they were originally $14 but... I'm trying to see which one I would want to wear today. And then the last thing I picked up, I just picked up an empty palette. Because I added two more of their single shadows. I have a lot of their single shadows, but I actually haven't even picked that up. Because I've been using just like pre-made palettes, you know. So maybe like I'll do like a single eyeshadow tutorial soon because I haven't done one. And then I lied. I said that was the last two things. I actually have two more things in this box. This one is their new cream eyeshadow which I actually will use as a base today. The collection was when they had the bigger palette and I originally made this purchase because they had it on sale for five dollars and I really just wanted that palette and it sold out so I was really pissed because I'm like I th that was the main reason that I made the purchase you know. So I think I'm going to use this today. It's just a cream color base. It's very similar to MAC Soft Ochre or Pain Painterly. So I'll see how that works with my eyes. And then this one is a Lippy Sticks. I haven't purchased a new Lippy Sticks in a very long time. So this one is called Unreal. And it's just my traditional like terracotta. Like really, really pretty. So I will wear that today since this is the only lip color that's in this box. So... Let's proceed to the I'm just going to quickly do my brows and I have this one. This is just their ColourPop brow pencil and this was the very first um, brow products that they came out with and it's the, I believe the new ones are the, their Brow Boss or Brow BFF or something like that. But this is the original one which is like super creamy and actually really hard to work with. But I just finished my other ColourPop brow pencil so I don't have that and this is the only ones that I have from Colourpop. Then I'm just gonna set my eyebrows with the Brow Bosch Gel. I have this one in the clear and like the colored version. I prefer the colored version. I don't think it's a bad product. It's very wet. So I'm not gonna do like a tutorial type of thing. I'm just gonna speed this up because I'm going for a no makeup makeup look. And then for this one, this gel cream product, it feels really dry. This is the first impression. Oh, I was hoping that I could use this as a base, but it actually has little shimmers on it, which is kind of disappointing. So now I have a little shimmery lid. I was hoping that it was just going to be matte. To line my eyes, I'm just going to use the ColourPop BFF Liquid Liner. I actually really, really like this. I love the formula. It doesn't smudge, but within their BFF line, I like the brow product, the liner, but the mascara is a no-go. I like hate that mascara because it smudges like crazy, so I'm just going to apply this. I lined my eyes a little bit crazy, but we're just going to stick with it because I am not taking it off. So for my lip today, I'm going to use the Unreal Lippy Sticks from this haul. But I'm going to line my lips with my ColourPop Brink. So that pretty much concludes my little look featuring some of the products I hauled in this video for my ColourPop stuff. I really, really love this packaging and then this one right here. So I love ColourPop. They always suck me in with their sales. What have you purchased recently from ColourPop? Let me know. And keep an eye out for a tutorial on any of these palettes. I haven't done just an eye focus tutorial, so, I will de um, so I'm definitely due to upload one pretty soon. So that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you for hanging out with me today, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye!